school here in the United States of America is Margie Ernie, Assistant Journalist and Ghani Award uh, winning journalist and professor of journalism, Dr. Yanni Marie Collins. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, I understand, uh, of course, that it's just 7 o'clock in the morning in Chicago. I hope you have had uh, time to grab a cup of coffee because it is likely to be a long day for anybody interested in U.S. presidential elections. Absolutely. It feels good. I've been waiting for this day. I'm excited um, about this day. So I've had some sleep. I had a little bit of tea. And so I'm all ready for today. It's a big, big day. All right. What's the mood like uh, in your state, for instance, uh, after what looked like uh, a rather fractious uh, campaign between President uh, Trump and Vice President Biden? Well, um, the mood and the tone here in Chicago, um, I have to say, um, to many surprises, the surprise of many, um, the mood is actually the same across this country, which is uh, uncertain. A lot of people have fear. A lot of people, some people are excited. A lot of people are worried because we have helicopters flying around here in Chicago um, to make sure that everything stays peaceful. Um, on either side, whatever happens, there could be an outbreak of violence, hostility, because people have been um, just not happy with how our political system has been working. Um, but we have come out in droves. We have record numbers going uh, mail-in mail -in ballots and going to the polls. So it is one of angst. People are just nervous about what is about to happen. But we're prepared for it. We believe in a free and democratic society. And we are we believe in the freedom and the rights to vote. So we're 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 all set for it. All right, what are the key issues that could influence the verdict of Americans today? Well, the key issues this time, this go around, is the record number of African Americans who are now voting more than the last election. There are more white Americans voting uh, this go round. I think the last election, I think it was, I think the majority of the votes, I think it was like we ended up like at 36%. The majority of the country did not even vote in the last election. Most of the voters were white women. We have doubled that number of white women voting even this election. We are going to break some numbers, I think. Um, having Kamala Harris, an African American, um, being a running mate to uh, former Vice President Joe Biden is a big pull. Um, but again, we have the issue with our president now, um, Donald Trump, with the handling of the pandemic. Uh, so many, we have 800,000 more cases already this morning and so i think the american people are looking towards a leader who's going to stop the bleeding and stop the deaths of this pandemic they want to see more women in power uh, they want to see more leadership when it comes to international uh, relations and inter a type of leadership that's going to bring people together and countries together and nations together so I think young people, again, are going to make a big difference in this election. They're out in droves, especially African-American. Let, 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 let me quickly come in here. Now, yours is a sophisticated democracy. Can you briefly explain the concept of the Electoral College very quickly? Absolutely. So in the Electoral, electoral College, each state gets a certain number of electors, and that's based on the total number of representatives in Congress. And each elector casts one electoral vote following the general election. So in total, depending on how many representatives are in Congress, in total there are 538 electoral votes. The candidate that gets more than half, which is 270, actually wins the election. So 270 is the magic number where we, who everyone's looking for. All right, everybody is, uh, well, a mathematician at this time, but uh, can you give us where we begin to uh, say the destination of the next uh, occupant, well, where the next occupant of the White House will come from? Uh, is it likely to be the, the night or the next morning when 
the we begin to see which states are we uh, when the results come in, we begin to see exactly where uh, things are uh, likely to be headed. Oh my God, what a great question. It is a great question because no one knows. Um, our polls open at 7 o'clock this morning, our time, which is the beginning of your film. Um, the last polls close, I think, in Alaska at 1 a.m. And so we know nothing will be decided at that time, even if we think we, it has been decided, even if it has been predicted with strong probability based on polls and community polls. Here's the issue. Because we have had a record number of mail-in ballots, it may take a week for all of the votes to be counted. And even if they're counted, it doesn't mean that some of the voting in some states won't be contested. You know, so I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be about a week. I think it's going to be about a week for us to really, truly know. All right, well, we've had uh, uh, multiple award-winning journalists uh, um, uh, Professor of Journalism, Dr. Jani Mari Collins, uh, joined us from Chicago. Thank you very much. I probably will see also uh, try and get through to you when everything is collated. I can't understand, Ambassador, I can't understand how we can have popular votes, a uh, higher number, and then you go to 270 people uh, deciding. Uh, I can't get my head around that. But you guys know what you're doing, so of course we uh, get you back maybe later in the week uh, to put everything uh, in perspective for us. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you so much, and yes, we don't have the popular vote, which is really interesting, and I want to wish you and all my brothers and sisters in Africa and Abuja, Nigeria, all the best, and safety to you all as well. May peace be unto you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you very much. Now, in Nigeria, the smoke uh, from 